Hi, I'm Pastor John Fleming of the Open Door Churches of Salem-Kaiser, here to bring you our midweek devotional. It's been a while since I've done this. It feels like uh, longer probably than it has actually been. Um, and a lot of things have been happening um, among us, uh, not just among our churches, but also, of course, among our uh, our life together as a community and as a nation. And wow, uh, could many of us believed some of the things that we've seen over the last several weeks. Um, there is a scripture passage that has been on my mind, especially over the last two to three weeks, um, because it's been the source of some, uh, some reflection about what it means for us to be engaged with the community around us. Uh, it's a familiar passage, and it comes from the book of the prophet Micah in chapter 6. Uh, and chapter 6 of Micah begins with, um, with a reference to a word, controversy, that is present in, um, in some of the books of the prophets. And the way that it comes to us in this place and in, uh, in other places is that the Lord has a controversy with, um, with the people the people of God. And what that means is that, that God has a complaint against them. It, it's not at all uncommon in the books of the prophets. In fact, it's a consistent theme that, that God's people have somehow turned away from God. But it often is not in the ways that people think. And that's kind of how chapter 6 works, is that, uh, that it, it asks this question, um, with what shall I come before the Lord and how uh, uh, and bow myself before God on high? Shall I come before God with burnt offerings, with calves a year old? Will the Lord be pleased with thousands of rams, with ten thousands of rivers of oil? Shall I give my firstborn for my transgression, the fruit of my body for the sin of my soul? And the answer comes back. And this is where it gets more familiar because none of those things are satisfactory. None of those things are the things that God truly desires. Um, instead, God has told you, O mortal, what is good. And what does the Lord require of you but to do justice and to love kindness and to walk humbly with your God? profound words and and in those words in in especially that that three part um, act justly love mercy walk humbly we get what religious life is all about so all of those things that the people offer uh, all of the sacrifices all of the devotion all of the acts of worship None of them really mean anything unless they are connected to those things. But what does it mean exactly? I think we're in the process of trying to figure that out. How, how it is that a church community, not just we as individuals, but as a church community, acts justly. What does that mean? We're up against it. We really are. Uh, and of course, over the last nine months or so, our society has um, been up against it, particularly in terms of the way that we address uh, racism, um, how it is that we acknowledge that it exists and how it is that we combat it. Uh, and so as we are thinking about what that means, it, it's interesting because when we say, act justly, sometimes our answers to how, what it means for us to act justly are, are sort of so general that they have no real application, no specific plan of action. And that's what we hope to do, I think. What we hope to do is to connect these amazing words of Scripture with specific things that we can do. 
many of you are aware that uh, there is a business in town that uh, is owned by an African-American man and his wife who moved here from another part of the country in order to found their business in downtown Salem. And they've become quite well known partly because their story has been picked up uh, in the press, not just here in Salem and not even just in Oregon, but the national press has picked up on the fact that they have been identified uh, by uh, white supremacist organizations as a target. One of countless numbers of acts that are unjust. And they happen all around us all the time. What is it that we do as people of faith, especially when the scriptures command us to act justly? What is it that we literally do? Do we get up and go support their business? Yes, sure we do. But that in itself does not solve the problem. Because what we really hope for is a day when the system itself will not need correction. Because we as human beings have learned how to treat one another with the kind of love that we see reflected in the life of Jesus Christ. Until we have that, until we have a society that reflects that and works day in and day out, to overcome the sin of mankind. We will never truly be able to act justly, to love mercy, and to walk humbly. In the name of the Creator and of the Christ and of the Holy Spirit.